Well, the debate over school vouchers was front and center at the state capitol this morning. The House Committee on Public Education held a hearing over the issue that's become one of the biggest legislative priorities. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn joins us now with more on what was discussed. Sydney, I would imagine it was a lot today. It was, Chris. Governor Greg Abbott has been pushing for a school voucher system since the beginning of this year. He came one step closer when the Texas Senate passed Senate Bill 8 just last week. But now it must get through the House, which is expected to be much more difficult. During the hearing this morning, Representative James Frank of Wichita Falls said the goal of school vouchers is to give parents a choice outside of the public school system. He says it's not just for private schools, it can also be used for tutoring and homeschooling. Frank says there are three priority groups for the vouchers that are based on household income. He says this makes the program available to everyone. The average private school in the state costs around $9,700. So this does give every child an opportunity to go to a private school. It gives them 100% of the funds, and again, it prioritizes those with less money. Now, we don't know when the full House will vote on the bill. It would need 76 votes to pass, but it does face a tough road. Just last week, the House approved a budget amendment that would ban the use of state funds for school vouchers. But coming up tonight at 6, how one representative thinks that money could be used if the bill does pass. Yeah, I know. Still a lot of debate to go on this, Sydney. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're wanting public input still. Going to be interesting. Thank you. You've done a great job covering, for it, uh, covering this for us so far. Thank you.